NASA's International Space Station is one of the most impressive structures we put in space. The cameras that are attached to the ISS are constantly streaming, allowing anyone to view the incredible sights that it beams back to us. The International Space Station has four high-definition cameras, and on NASA's websites there's live cameras that allow you to watch what's going on above our planet. Interestingly though, during some of these viewers have noticed some odd things. The most recent discovery is that of a strange looking object that was picked up by one of the cameras. As with most of these types of images, they usually end up on social media. The user who posted this one said they captured the photograph earlier today. They said the following. I'm not sure if anyone else was watching the space cameras earlier today, but if they were, did they see this thing? I saw it come into view for around 10 seconds and then fly out of frame. The ISS travels fast, so I wasn't able to observe it for long. I quickly saw it and so took a screenshot. I'm not saying that it's anything of interest, but I thought I'd post it and see if anyone saw the same thing. End quote. Before I carry on, NASA have said the space above our planet is littered with debris, and that sometimes when the International Space Station passes above us, these pieces of debris get picked up on. It doesn't mean it explains everything picked up by the ISS, but it's something to keep in mind. As pointed out by those who saw the image, this doesn't look like a typical piece of space debris. Some users even went on to say that this object looks like the mysterious Oumuamua, a strange space object that was detected flying through our solar system back in 2017. Interestingly, this isn't the first time that an object this shape has been seen close to the International Space Station. Others who often watch the live feeds have said they've seen similar looking objects, and say that they never seem to stick around for too long. Skeptics have suggested that these objects could be things like old rocket boosters, or other things of similar shape, and although this is a good suggestion, as some have pointed out these types of objects don't seem to act like pieces of debris with some noticing that they can turn and move in the opposite direction to other pieces of debris. Another person said the following, I sometimes go on and watch the International Space Station, and you do sometimes see things flicker by. One of the things I've noticed is that you can very quickly tell the difference between a piece of space debris and one of these objects. That's not to say that these objects are proof of aliens, but I do find it funny when debris is put forward as the leading theory as to what these objects are. That's definitely not what people are seeing here. These objects are able to move very quickly, flying down towards Earth and in some cases shooting off into the cosmos. I'm not here to convince people, but I think we should stop labelling these as debris. End quote. As of right now, what these objects are and how they're able to do what they do is still heavily debated. It seems that the International Space Station is no stranger to odd events. Perhaps one of the most chilling was that of the water build-up incident. Described as one of the most unexplainable circumstances is that of the water build-up incident that happened during a routine spacewalk on the International Space Station. Back in July 2013, American astronaut Chris Cassidy and Italian astronaut Luca Palmitano were performing a 6 hour and 15 minute planned spacewalk when suddenly Palmitano told the astronauts and other space agencies that it felt as if the back of his head had just suddenly become wet. Understanding the dangers of water build up on the inside of a suit during a spacewalk, Palmitano quickly tried to address and solve the issue in the hopes of the event not compromising the spacewalk that the team had just started an hour prior. Luca believed that his drink bag had possibly sprung a leak and was the main cause of the water buildup, and so quickly responded by removing and getting rid of his drink to solve the issue. Oddly enough, it appeared that water continued to build up inside the suit. The dangers with water in space is that, unlike on Earth, the surface tension of the water causes the compound to build up on the side of the surfaces and could potentially cover the entire face of the person preventing them from breathing. The flight director, David Korff, immediately began to worry, 
after Palmitano claimed the water build-up had suddenly begun covering his ears, making it next to impossible to hear of the helmet's intercon systems. This led to the astronaut being told to find his way back to the airlock door, and to enter and stay inside the International Space Station until the cause of the leak could be better understood. This proved to be a problem as the water began covering the eyes of the astronaut. He also had no tether to find his way back to the airlock, so he was essentially blind. Luckily, the astronauts are already trained in such incidents, and are well aware of the ledges and ladders to grab onto. Further investigation into what could have potentially caused the build-up failed to bring up any real answers. The drink bag turned out to not be the cause, and engineers failed to find any evidence of any of the cooling systems malfunctioning. A few causes were suggested, but it just highlights how unpredictable these spacewalks can be. The Mars Curiosity rover is part of NASA's Mars Science Laboratory mission. It was launched on the 26th of November 2011, and it landed on Mars in early August 2012. NASA has said that Curiosity has been vital in helping them to understand the terrain of Mars, and this will help with upcoming Mars missions. In recent years, the Curiosity has sent back many images, and a few of these have been of particular interest. This mysterious light could be seen allegedly hovering above large rock formations. Those who saw the image immediately started to ask NASA what it was, with some questioning whether the rover had just captured an unidentified flying object. Although at the time NASA didn't comment on this photograph, they had commented on others which showed similar looking lines, saying these have nothing to do with unidentified flying objects, and are likely sun reflections, saying that they've seen similar looking anomalies in photographs, and they were created due to the sun's rays reflecting off a nearby rock. Although this is the theory that's been put forward by the space agency, some people aren't buying it, and have said that in the past they've seen mysterious objects hovering above the Martian sky. This has led to various different theories being put forward to try and explain them. One person said the following, I don't know why NASA is so against the idea of labelling something as an unidentified flying object. It's so weird the relationship they have with UFOs. It seems they do everything in their power to not label something as an unknown object. There's nothing wrong with labelling something as a UFO. You're not admitting that it's alien life. You're just saying it's an object that can't be identified at that moment in time. End quote. Others who have looked through Mars apps and old Mars images have said they think it's a UFO though, going on to say that it even looks to be in the shape of a craft. For years now people have said they've seen odd looking things on the Martian surface, and it's caused them to question what actually happened here. Scientists will tell us that Mars is a planet that doesn't host life, and that as of right now we've never found any evidence to suggest that life once existed there but amateur researchers have claimed to have found various anomalies that go against this. One of these is the alleged animals that can be found scattered across the Martian surface. Probably one of the most well-known ones is that of the Mars rat and the Mars crab. This photograph was first discovered back in 2015, and those who saw it said it reminded them of the facehuggers from the Alien franchise. Some who have studied the image have said you can make out eight legs, while many argued about its size, with guesses ranging from a few feet to the size of a car. As mentioned though, NASA are against the idea of labelling these objects as UFOs or animals, and have said that as of right now they've never seen anything that suggests that UFOs are out there, and that they are able to explain every object that they photographed, a statement that I should point out is often criticised by many. Those who believe that Mars was once inhabited in the past have said that NASA have failed to comment on certain images, but skeptics have said the reason NASA doesn't reply is because there's so many of these alleged anomalies, and it will take them forever to reply to each individual. Skeptics have said that NASA have replied in the past, and that people don't believe them when they present their answers. 
One of the answers they presented in the past to explain away these anomalies is that of pareidolia. Today, people are still finding and debating photographs that are sent back from Mars. This isn't the only Curiosity discovery. NASA said that the Curiosity rover found evidence of Martian bacteria. Only a few years ago, NASA made an incredible discovery, in which the initial signs of life on Mars arose for NASA astrobiologists and research scientists back in 2004, and then again later confirmed back during the landing of the Martian probe. The private space agency originally saw signs of a methane plume ejecting from the surface of Mars, and began to quickly theorize its implications as an organic molecule, of which only finds natural formation via the creation of a variety of bacteria. After many sleepless nights, engineers of the space agency worked to send a Martian rover with the capability of testing the Martian surface for additional organic molecules. Later in 2014, Martian rover Curiosity began collecting evidence of methane traces in the Martian atmosphere, and made a startling discovery. The Martian rover found that the methane on Mars grew more concentrated by seasons in the Martian atmosphere, and directly correlated with the Martian seasons overall. This led researchers to believe that this correlation between the concentration by seasons was additional proof to the hypothesis that Mars contains some form of life. Methane is also an organic molecule, and the majority of methane on Earth also correlates with our seasons, as certain bacteria and microbes eject this organic molecule into the atmosphere during the summer and autumn seasons, similar to what the data shows in spikes of methane across the Martian atmosphere. Although definitive signs of life have yet to be observed on the Red Planet, the odds of this observation seem to be more and more promising with the passing years as Curiosity uncovers additional complex organic molecules and continues its drilling processes to locate biosignatures of life. This has led many researchers to theorize that the formation of these bacteria could have taken place over millions of years, as well as the fact that there could have been at one point in time far more complex life on the surface of Mars before the complete removal of its atmosphere leading to a number of extremophiles still existing on the Martian surface today. As of right now, NASA plans to put humans on Mars by 2033. SpaceX have said they plan to be the first to put humans on the Red Planet, saying that they want to do this by 2030. So what do you make of this interesting photograph that was taken by the Curiosity rover? Do you think it shows an unidentified flying object? Or is this a sunray reflecting off a nearby rock? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comments section below, and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos. Thank you.